Prepare to embark on a journey into the realm of the extraordinary. From moving formations to missing coils and unconventional golf courses, these captivating locations defy conventional scientific explanations, leaving us in awe of the wonders that still await discovery on our very own Earth. Mystery White Crater On January 23, 2014, a mystery emerged that would captivate investigators as they journeyed from the deserts of Mars to the origins of one of Earth's greatest civilizations. The focus of their attention was a conspicuous crater located in Mexico, which held something fascinating and unusual, a year-round white patch that remarkably resembled ice. This enigmatic white crater was part of a group known as the Seven Luminaries, forming a similar pattern to the Ursa Major constellation when viewed from above. NASA's Kasha Patel found an intriguing extraterrestrial connection as the Mexican crater bore striking similarities to the Korolev crater on Mars. The Korolev crater, situated in Mars's northern lowlands, contained a vast amount of water ice, offering potential opportunities for future human colonization and space travel. The legacy of visionary rocket scientist Sergei Korolev, who helped the Soviets achieve the first lunar spacecraft landing, was hoped to play a pivotal role in humanity's exploration of Mars. The presence of ice on Mars could serve as a valuable resource for humans, potentially used as rocket fuel for interplanetary journeys. On Mars, a process called cold trapping prevented the ice from melting during its relatively warm daytime temperatures. This process, however, did not occur on Earth due to our planet's dynamic atmosphere, which dispersed the cold air and prevented the formation of similar icy regions. Local residents near the Mexican crater recalled a time when it contained water that was highly alkaline and lethal to all life. Geologists theorized that the white substance in the crater resulted from a powerful volcanic event, creating a highly alkaline volcanic soup that eventually concentrated into the crystalline fields observed in the image. Scientists have also discovered that the crater floor was covered with spirulina, a cyanobacteria that has been considered a superfood and even used as a primary food source by the Aztecs. This strange white crater, which was believed to have been formed around 100,000 years ago, might have played a role in the rise of one of history's greatest civilizations. Strange Patterns In June 2014, aerial images captured an enigmatic sight in the remote Utah desert, purposeful and unusual patterns etched into the barren landscape. The origins of these shapes perplexed analysts who explored various possibilities, including the idea that they might be connected to the indigenous tribes that once inhabited the area. However, studies revealed that the symbols did not align with the usual practices of these tribes, pointing to a different explanation. Military journalist Carlo Munoz ventured into the remote site where he considered a more sinister purpose behind the patterns. He speculated that they might be linked to the nearby Dogway Proving Ground, a top-secret facility known for conducting controversial bioweapons experiments over the years. As Munoz explored the location on the ground, he found a large symbol that lacked the precision visible from the air. The ground revealed signs that suggested the symbol's construction was designed to withstand heavy weight, possibly indicating that it was intended to last for a considerable period. The mystery deepened as Munoz discovered more symbols nearby, seemingly connected to the central one. He compared the central symbol to an X on a treasure map, raising questions about its purpose and what those who created it might have been seeking. Further exploration led Munoz to an abandoned mine nearby. The mine's remote location and barred entrance sparked curiosity about its purpose. Although gold mining was a possibility, the absence of known gold deposits in the area made this unlikely. Munoz speculated that the mine might have been connected to uranium extraction, which could explain the enigmatic symbols and the heavy construction of the central pattern. With questions still unanswered, the mystery surrounding the purpose of these symbols and their connection to the abandoned mine in the Utah desert remain unsolved. The possibility of clandestine activities and the historical significance of the area added an air of intrigue to this perplexing puzzle. What secrets might lie buried beneath the desert sands, waiting for intrepid explorers to uncover their hidden truths? Shark-Shaped Mound the tropical island of Bimini, located in the Bahamas off the coast of Florida, conceals a mysterious and enigmatic image captured by the Worldview 2 satellite. Amid the lush green landscape, a peculiar outline emerges, that of a giant shark rising from the swampy terrain. The waters surrounding Bimini are known for being shark-infested, with various species including the lethal tiger shark inhabiting the area. 
Local history and legends reveal that the ancient Taino people who once lived on the islands revered and respected sharks. The question arises whether they worshipped these powerful creatures, similar to how other ancient cultures elevated certain animals as gods. However, with most records of these primitive people lost due to Spanish conquests, the answer remains elusive. Explorer George Coronas embarks on a quest to investigate the shark-shaped mound and the nearby underwater road, which locals believe to be evidence of a prehistoric civilization. As he navigates the treacherous mangrove swamps teeming with sharks, he contemplates the significance of the underwater road, whether it's a natural formation or a man-made construction. Upon reaching the shark mound, George is struck by its scale and the challenges faced by the ancient civilization that might have constructed it. The unique and inaccessible environment raises more questions about the purpose and origin of this intriguing symbol. George follows another lead, the Healing Hole, rumored to be the mythical fountain of youth sought by Spanish conquistador Juan Ponce de Leon. Could this natural spring hold clues about the shark mound's significance? The orientation of the shark mound, with the shark's nose pointing towards the Healing Hole, adds another layer of mystery. With limited archaeological evidence, George's investigation only scratches the surface of the enigmatic shark mound's history. The origin and purpose of this ancient symbol remain shrouded in uncertainty, leaving us to wonder about the lost civilization that might have constructed it and the deeper significance of the shark in the lives and beliefs of the Taino people who once inhabited these islands. Fingerprint Island Fingerprint Island, also known as Ho Island, located in the Mediterranean, was initially believed to have been used as a leper colony due to its labyrinth-like layout and tiny compounds. However, as ROS, the investigator, gets closer and examines the island, it becomes evident that the initial assumption is incorrect. Upon closer inspection, ROS notices that the structures on the island are not dwellings, but rather temporary places with shade. Additionally, the absence of mortar in the walls indicates that they're not meant for structural purposes, but are dry stone walls used to clear the ground of debris. These dry stone walls reveal that the primary purpose of the island was agriculture, specifically the cultivation of crops. ROS discovers agricultural fields throughout the island, and this is confirmed by the presence of a well, providing a source of fresh water for the farmers. The satellite image initially showed no evidence of streams or lakes, making the discovery of the well crucial in understanding the island's purpose. Further investigation reveals that the farmers on Fingerprint Island were growing grapes, dating back hundreds of years. The island's remote location and abundance of fresh water made it an ideal place for cultivating vineyards, despite being one of the most remote and bizarre vineyards ever seen. In conclusion, Fingerprint Island's labyrinth-like layout and tiny structures were not indicative of a leper colony, but rather it was an ancient vineyard cultivated by farmers who utilized dry stone walls to clear the ground for grape cultivation, benefiting from the island's source of fresh water. Hitler Island In the mysterious depths of Argentina, military historian Mike Pavlik delves into the enigmatic secrets of a secluded government-restricted island. There, he unveils a web of connections to Nazi scientists, including the elusive Ronald Richter, whose shadowy presence once fueled a clandestine nuclear project. The veil of secrecy shrouds what could have transpired in those hidden realms, imagining an alternate reality where Argentina of the 40s, 50s and 60s unraveled a nuclear program that could have altered the very fabric of our world. However, as Pavlik's explorations unfold, the island reveals itself as an enigma within an enigma. The structures stand eerily deserted, offering no tangible trace of a sophisticated nuclear facility. Strangely, bullet holes adorn the ruins, hinting at a violent and abrupt halt to the enigmatic work. What precisely was Dr. Richter pursuing on this island, and how close was he to success? The answers remain veiled in mystery obscured by the shadows of deception. Despite the allure of nuclear fusion, it emerges that Richter was in fact a masterful deceiver, tricking Argentinian President Juan Perón out of exorbitant sums of money. The echoes of his elaborate hoax reverberate across time, leaving behind whispers of deceit and shattered dreams. Yet the island harbored more than Richter's ruses. It became a refuge for notorious Nazis, their dark pasts cloaked in secrecy. Dr. Joseph Mengel, a name synonymous with terror, and Adolf Eichmann, architect of the Holocaust, sought solace within these shadows, hidden away from the prying eyes of justice. As Pavlik delves deeper into the mysteries, he encounters a local historian, Abel Busty, 
whose revelations defy expectations. Astonishingly, Hitler's presence in Bariloche after the war emerges as an unsettling revelation. A single word spoken, si, echoes with profound implications, hinting at the colossal enigma veiled in the memory of a distant past. In the heart of Argentina, amid the whispers of history, the island and its secrets remain a haunting riddle, leaving one to wonder what hidden truths lie veiled behind its obscure facade. The mysteries of this place wrapped in the mists of time beckon us to uncover the untold secrets, only to be met with a resolute silence. The enigmatic whispers linger, leaving us to ponder the shadows that stretch across history's canvas. Floating Eye in a remote Argentinian swamp, horror film director Sergio was well acquainted with New Spiller, and they were on an investigative mission to explore reports of paranormal activity surrounding a mysterious eye-shaped formation. Sergio had finally reached the location, and it seemed perfectly structured. To their surprise, the eye-shaped swamp was not stationary, but moving. A peculiar sight indeed. After analyzing satellite images, New Spiller confirmed the discovery and noticed a pattern of movement around the lake. Historical imagery revealed that the eye had been present and shifting for two decades. With its position changing daily, Sergio believed that something was causing the island to move. With determination, New Spiller climbed onto the floating eye-shaped formation to investigate further. They noticed some strange features, making it appear as if someone had cut the swamp's surface. The eye seemed to have a carpet-like covering of vegetation. Despite thorough examination, no evidence pointed to human involvement in the formation of the eye. If it was natural, the symmetry and floating capability remained puzzling. Bubbles rising from the bottom of the swamp indicated the presence of methane gas, likely produced by decomposing organic material. This gas might contribute to the island's buoyancy. Floating islands did exist in other parts of South America, particularly in Peru's Lake Titicaca, where people lived on woven reed structures. However, those islands required regular maintenance to retain their shape, unlike the enigmatic eye in the Argentinian swamp, which appeared untouched by human hands. The lack of human presence near the formation raised questions about how it maintained its shape over time. Sergio and New Spiller were determined to find answers and continued their investigation, delving deeper into the mystery of the moving eye-shaped swamp. Martian Lake in the region of Okanagan, there was a lake with a peculiar legend attached to it. According to the local beliefs, each colored pool within the lake possessed a unique and potent healing power. A total of 365 circled pools dotted the landscape, each offering distinct medicinal properties. People would come from far and wide seeking relief from their ailments by visiting specific pools matching their needs. The lake held some intriguing features that set it apart. Most notably, it lacked any outflow, including groundwater making it an isolated body of water. Typically, in the water cycle, streams and rivers would transport water from the hills to the ocean. However, in this Canadian Rockies locale, the meltwater from winter snowpack flowed down the hills, collecting salts along its course until it cooled within the lake. The lack of outlets meant that the water remained stagnant, and during the peak of summer, a significant portion of it would evaporate, leaving behind an extraordinary sight, a collection of Martian-like multicolored and intensely saline brine pools. The distinct colors of the pools arose from the varying concentrations and combinations of salts they held. As water ran off from different parts of the hills, it carried along specific mineral salts, which contributed to the unique profiles of each pool. For the Okanagan healers, this diversity in color acted as a natural prescription pad, indicating which minerals were present in each pool for tailored healing. One of the lake's most astounding aspects was the exceptionally high concentrations of sulfates found in its waters, an unparalleled phenomenon worldwide. The stark resemblance of Spotted Lake to Mars puzzled the scientific community. It seemed as though a fragment of the red planet had somehow traversed a staggering 33 million miles and manifested in this earthly lake. Delving into this enigmatic lake, scientists made a groundbreaking discovery. Analyzing the water from the various pools, they found the presence of microscopic organisms, revealing a hint of life within this seemingly alien landscape. This astonishing revelation prompted scientists to speculate about the possibility of Martian-type life existing on Mars itself, making it a discovery of unprecedented significance. The mysteries of Spotted Lake continue to captivate the imagination of researchers and visitors alike as they explored the depths of this unique natural wonder, 
seeking answers to the riddles hidden within its Martian-like appearance and potentially groundbreaking implications. Mysterious Holes From high above the Australian outback, the Worldview 3 satellite captured an intriguing sight, a pattern of black spots scattered across the desert landscape, resembling enormous black holes. These enigmatic spots stood out distinctly amidst the surrounding terrain. Scientists were perplexed by these formations, speculating that there might be small bodies of water like ponds or some other mysterious phenomenon. The image in question was taken near the isolated opal mining colony of Kubapedi, located on the edge of the vast and desolate Great Victoria Desert. This region lies at the heart of the driest desert in the driest state and continent on Earth. Kubapedi, though scarcely visited by many, held a unique secret that attracted a select few, the presence of one of the hottest golf courses in the world. The idea for this unconventional golf course was conceived in 1976 by sports enthusiasts in the area who wanted to enjoy the sport despite the arid conditions. They came up with the ingenious concept of grassless greens, realizing that maintaining grass in such a dry and water-scarce environment would be impractical and costly. Instead, the greens were made of sand, specially rolled and treated with black motor oil to prevent it from blowing away in the wind. As explained by the locals, you use a rake to smooth the sand, creating an even surface for putting. This makeshift golf course provided a feasible solution to the challenges posed by the desert climate. During the scorching summer months, the extreme daytime heat made golfing impossible. The players therefore resorted to unique practice, playing at night using glow-in-the-dark golf balls. The illuminated balls could be seen from as far as 300 meters away, making it a fun and cooler alternative to daytime play. The golf course in Coobapedi epitomized the resourcefulness of the Australians, providing an innovative and uniquely Australian approach to the sport. Instead of laboriously pumping water to maintain a lush greenery on the course, they opted for black sand greens that suited the desert environment. This novel solution highlighted the essence of their adaptability and ingenuity, proving that in this setting, black indeed became the new green. These places challenge our understanding of the natural world. They remind us of the boundless wonders our planet holds and inspire us to keep exploring and seeking answers to its scientific mysteries. Thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.